Welcome everyone. So I recently got a $300 haircut. So I'm going to be going over my experience, what I think, and if it was worth it. And also go through my new hair routine. So let's get started. All right. Well, obviously the first thing I have to do is detangle my hair in order to wash it. So I'm going to section my hair and I'm going to use a wooden brush. I haven't gotten a curly haircut in about four years. So that's kind of what prompted it. So the other day I went to New York and my mom's taking pictures of me and my hair is super, super long. But when I look at pictures, it's gorgeous and it looks nice, but I felt like something was missing because sometimes what I like to do when I take pictures is I like to fluff up my hair on the sides, but I wasn't really able to do that when I was getting my photos taken. And I usually cut my own hair. So like I would try to do my own version of cutting my hair and making it more voluminous on the sides. I obviously didn't know what I was doing, but I just was like winging it, you know what I mean? And then I was like, okay, I need to schedule an appointment. And so about four years ago, and I even had a video on this curly haircut day, I went to the salon near my house and I got my hair done by the senior stylist. Yes, I was a little bougie, so I got the senior stylist. And she cut my hair and I really, really liked the results. So I thought, I'm gonna go back to her again and see what she can do for me. One thing I liked about the stylist is that she respected my long hair. And that's like some controversy that some people feel like their hairstylist will cut off a lot of hair. Just, I don't know, is it like subconscious? I don't know, maybe it's just like a thing that they do. They don't realize that they're cutting a lot or maybe they get too excited with the scissors. But I knew that this stylist, she she did a good job keeping my length the last time. However, in the chair and even when you see in that clip, it looks like a lot of hair is gone, which was worrying me a little bit. But I decided to trust the process. And even now, if you stretch my hair, it's basically still under. Yeah, that's that's impressive. Okay, so then I scheduled the appointment the day of. So it's 9 o'clock and the appointment's at 11. I schedule it. I put my hair is long. Literally about an hour before I get to the appointment, I get a call. And they're like, hmm, the last time you booked here, you put your hair was extra long. So is your hair extra long? And I was like, um, I don't know. Like, am I supposed to stretch it? And they're like, yes, you're supposed to stretch it. So I was like, oh, I see. So basically I put long because I didn't stretch it, but because I stretched it, then it was under here. So they said it was like a $40 extra charge. So right off the bat, I'm nervous because I already knew this was gonna be like a pricey haircut, but I just kept positive And I was like, you know what? That's just the business. That's just how it goes. That is the curly hair industry, unfortunately. They charge if you breathe air. If you breathe too much, you're gonna get charged. If you need water, they're gonna charge you. So I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like go with the flow and, you know, understand that that's their policy and that's how it goes and just trust it, you know? So I finally get there and I am met with the stylist and I don't know if she remembered me, but it's crazy that to see her again, to see someone that, I don't know, time flies, you know what I mean? And I was like, I'm like in a different place now. And, you know, we just got the chatting or whatever. And she's just instantly knows kind of what I want. She's like, let's keep the layers in. Let's add some more volume on the sides. And I was like, okay, let's do it. Like, I really want to, I told her, I told her that exact thing that I just shared that sometimes when I take pictures, I like to scrunch my hair like this. Like I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, I... but it, it wasn't really giving anything. So I knew that she knew to cut these pieces, which looks short but I knew that she knew to cut these pieces. So I kind of just thought, oh, let me just enjoy the process. This is obviously gonna be a very luxurious experience. The salon was really nice. So I just went with the flow. I feel like that's like the biggest lesson I learned is just go with the flow. The way I saw it was that either way, even if it's too short, not really what it, well, I knew it would be like really good. I think my worry was that it would be too short, which is like a valid, concern for anyone who gets a haircut but i just thought to myself even if it is too short it's going to be good for my hair and my hair grows fast so it, it's not going to be as big of a deal i come out and i'm like oof it was really short because when i was watching her cut i was a little bit intimidated because she was cutting just intensely you know it was an intense cut like just seeing the layers and and you know it was like a lot for me and i hadn't done that in a long time i guess yeah again she cut wow it looks really nice like this i'm not gonna lie it looks really cute i love it <laughs> i just take a moment to like 
appreciate that because she cut my hair dry you can tell that there's shape here you know what i mean like as she's cutting it she's building that shape and the fact that i can see it here it's kind of cool to understand how a stylist thinks so i'm very like wowed about that right now i just had to take a moment so then we get to washing the hair you know the assistant is really great in these curly hair salons they love to use the moroccan oil line Weeda, they love diva Sean, of course or diva curl of course Fine thing on my scalp which is i definitely needed that clarifying on my scalp because i have a lot of product build up she used more lighter products because that's my hair it's it's thick but it's light you know anything can weigh my waves down but anyways now we're done with detangling so obviously it is time to wash my hair and start to the styling part so yeah let's go and wash my hair i'm going to be using obviously a microfiber towel so for my shampoo i'm going to be using the redkin also and then i'm going to use this this is the redkin uh, conditioner it's just in like a travel size and i really put my life and trust in this line and i haven't used it in a while because i've been dealing with super dry scalp so i've just been using other medicated shampoos okay we are done so let's take this off and let's get ready to style my hair all right so i like to do a middle part because i'm dealing with really dry scalp i'm putting in some castor oil on my hair i'm only gonna use a oh there we go the thing that with castor oil is that it's super hard to spread out so i am like oh god you know all right so my hair has been parted nice and semi straight so yeah she did my hair and then it was time for the styling part i okay so one thing that they love to do in the diva Sean salons and i think it's really encouraged by like the diva curl line is to have really soaking wet hair and do a lot of scrunching so that's what she did and it does work on my hair a lot like my hair will get super nice and cute with a lot of moisture and I think just in general, like, obviously the whole time I'm like, oh my god, my hair's not going to come out the way that I want it to come out. But I was also just like, you gotta trust the process too. And I also just, that's what I thought was really valuable about the, the hair experience, was that I learned a lot from the stylist. You know, she was a senior, she's like 10 years of experience, so she obviously knew what was up, you know. I did I did notice about the salon was that they she doesn't use this brush and I've seen a lot of people um in their salon start moving towards this brush and I feel like people sleep on the power of this brush because this brush has definitely transformed the way that I do my hair completely I wish I would have had this when I was younger because yeah it just works really well I also don't worry about this like product all. I know I use a lot, but trust me, it like goes away. The little scrunching part, like the white stuff, they, it goes away. Trust me, I can even just rub it off right now. So after the whole washing part or whatever, we did the blow drying part. So she put me under the overhead uh, hair dryer, and I think that was the point of it was kind of do what I do usually with my blow dryer was to seal the cast, and then eventually she would go in with the hair dryer it was cool because what the cool thing i liked about that salon was that it was so curly hair girl you know what i mean like every single corner had a diffuser of different brands of the really nice brands like dyson and shark and uh, and you know it was cute you know it was nice to see like a like a salon that was catered solely for curly hair and it just emphasizes that experience that kind of is why they charge so much because there is so much money that gets put into these salons like a lot of people will complain like oh it's so expensive it's not affordable it's not accessible which is very much true but you also have to consider how much money they're putting into these salons it's such a like a specialty and yes it was a lot to spend on it and i can like mourn and cry over it all i want but again this is like the first time i'd spent money on something like that in like four years and you know you work for your money you just wanted to you know do something nice for yourself so like a good ex you also have to research the the hairstylist too i mean i just the thing that really caught me off guard guys was the part where i just got charged extra 40 bucks you know like it just makes you think about how i guess in her eyes you know that's her value you know what i mean like she's transforming people's curly hair 
a lot of people with curly hair come in with damaged hair you know a lot of them come in with a lot of issues other than like a traditional salon where it's a lot of straight haired girls or stuff like that like they're usually just doing the same things like a little balayage or whatever you know but for curly hair it's just so much more specifics and so much more depth so i understand the pricing i get why our products are so much more expensive it just sometimes it does feel like a little bit aggressive you know like it's aggressive to pay like you know some people that's some that's probably half, a third of someone's rent you know what i mean like just for a haircut i guess the way that i'm assuming it works is because and when i was going into this research i had looked at other places when i lived down south and I saw that other curly hair techs or specialists were also charging basically $200, you know what I mean? So, and they were not senior stylists, they were just people who were, they were in these cube, not these cubicles, these office salons, and they were charging that much. So, just based on those numbers, obviously, a senior master stylist is going to charge $300, you know what I mean? So, that is, that is, that is the business of it, unfortunately. Um, we do have to pay those high prices, but hopefully in the future, you know, people will, there will be people who learn more of it because if there's more, more hairstylists like that, more curly hair specialists, then the prices can go down. But because there's just not as much representation in the hair industry, you know, we just are focused on getting the nicest blowout or like, you know, like, I don't know, getting the best balayage yeah until then and like the prices are going to be high a reality that i've already come to accept but is kind of what makes me motivated to figure out how to cut my own hair because it's just a lot okay so if you don't really want to spend the money i also asked my friend who was a hairstylist i asked her i said if i were to go to any hairstylist and kind of get what i what i got how would you describe it and she i put in what she said she said that so yeah that's why she she gave me that advice because i was thinking i'm like oh my god i don't want to spend the money like what could i ask for next time if i don't really want to go to someone who specializes in curly hair you know all right here we go look at this it is basically ready to be blow dried now i'm gonna be taking my shark and i'm gonna be first of all plugging it in what i have to do is make the little turn and then you attach this and there you go, now you have a little diffuser. It comes with so many other attachments, but this is like my favorite one, obviously, because it diffuses my hair. Heat protectant, because when you use heat, you gotta use heat protectant. So I'm gonna spray that. Okay, so that's basically it. As the days go by, my hair does get a little better. I still feel a little bit moisture on my hair still, but with the air drying, it's gonna look so much more better, so yeah i am super excited to have this new haircut i feel like there's a lot more definition in my hair i just love the movement the bounciness like i'm happy i got my haircut and hopefully maybe you might get one too maybe you might find something similar or cheaper but yeah thanks so much for watching bye this is my hair